push is better because yeah. not even just the healing ward, but having that hero that can be hitting the buildings. And when you see that initiation coming, you Blade Fury to dodge the Venge Sun. Uh, you can dodge the Nyx spell. So strong in all of their lanes. All of their lanes are going to do fine. They're so Fifi can get an opening here. RTG trying to go for the runes. Surrounded by four players. Support's going to come over the hillside. And what do they do? RTG just sits on top of the rune with a spike over onto God. It will be the DK picking up the rune. And God, he's dropping down low. Open wounds over on RTG. Yoku trying to find that damage. Alchemist actually able to run himself away. So God will end up surviving. Or will he? Universe missing uphill. He can't reach him. God will start the south. The three won't be able to cancel it up in time. So VP or Already with one kill, you got open wins up at eight seconds time. Oh, a little misses. bit too far away, but they're going to keep chasing up after Universe to try and find the kill. While Enigma kills the Chen over in the tree line, they still want to see if they can kill Universe on this top lane. Oh. There goes your attack. There's no way for Terra. They use the open wins into the stun, and this line should be a two for one trade off. Going the way of Virtus Pro early on, they did get the first spot over before. He's insanely tanky. You just stand there in the lane, you breathe fire, you farm, you stay in close, you're oh, all good. Yeah, Aloha Dan's gonna start with a stun. He has straight it down. Pineline dying. Riley just turns his own stun. In comes the profit. Universe coming to help out. FMG will be dropping here. No spike characters to try and stall it out. As God is calling Blaze up to get through the sprout. The most important thing happening right now for Secret is that Alchemist is the fourth lowest net worth in the game. That is ridiculous. That almost never happens. And it's gonna hurt his overall farm very hard. He's almost got soaring though, which means he can jungle. Oh, there's not many stacks that are prepared. Top river, a little bit of trouble right now for a low art dance. Caught inside the tree line. Highlight uh, die, the attack is not giving up. The very fire gives just enough life for Aloha Dance to back out, and then no fear. Looks at the revenge kill, he's gonna take it. But that last little swipe of the hell best matchup. I was really took that well against Secrets Heroes. E -E. I don't know if you can reach him in time. They're gonna cut to the tree line. Okay, that's one way to do it. Universe gives the vision for a straight up Omni Slash. Alchemist, he really isn't scary at all, and God can't do anything against Eternal Enemy until this stun's going to connect. But it's the open wounds over on Universe, fighting on multiple fronts at the moment. So, Universe, he is going to drop, allowing both EE and Antiti to survive. Yeah, that's the only way that anybody on Secret dies right now. So they so. have detection. There's the the Vendetta FNG running forward to Eternal Enemy. Stun, turn, turn stun will happen. You've still got Omni Slash and Spin, but they get the kill very quickly. Highlight died, dropped the Sentry Ward down, but was a little bit too late. Only way that they come back in this game, because right now they're easily on the back foot. The kills are helping them. Like, the experience is getting closer and closer towards Virtus Pro. Universe, TP out, that damage from Yoko. Oh, barely enough. Is that an alchemist? Yeah. If he spins, it's over. They're, he's going to get away. Oh, he goes into Vendetta. Oh, did they see Into him? the tree line. Envy's most going to break. Envy, there's your way with Terra. And while there's no stun, the damage should be enough to get through him, and it will be. That works because he put himself in a corner. <laughs> see down by VP to grab that before the next push happens. No fear is in trouble. No, I believe no fear is dead. Paladai comes in with a stun, unless the finger of death flies. Puffy with the mouth as well. There's no way for no fear to survive. And God. Well, he'll move over with a chemical rage up, but nothing's gonna come from it, especially when Arteezy can... That great start, riding this game out, if that, if it comes to that, it should be possible. And he might die. Caught out with a damage rune, that's a lot of damage, very quickly. That juggernaut is paper and... Good idea to build though, because this allows him to move around the map by himself and try to get solo kills, similar to how Nyx is doing, so... If he finds Venger, Chen, or something like that... Top lane, Universe, so. jump in from FNG, got the perfect stun, Yoku jumps out and has more than enough damage to finish the job. The question is, can Yoku get out? Like, he's the only one with a kill streak right now on Virtus Pro and Puppy. You know him, he'll commit black hole for this one if he feels he needs to. He doesn't to. have to, he doesn't even have a TP, he's just dead. Uh, you're right, there's no escape. No ult, no TP, Rage was on cooldown. Really straightforward, completely started. He might get ganked here though. He sees it. Oh, oh Aloha Dance. Artiji is waiting for the right time. There goes the initial stun. Universe, well, the swap goes out. So Aloha Dance trumped inside the sprout with no way to come free. The quality blade of gold was too far away. That mech, as well as hand of gold from Nokia, is committed. And Universe, low on life, greed will come in from Puppy, however, but the wrath of nature, it'll bounce on through. It's a two for one trade off us now. Nix Assassin is down, a double kill for us. This team was inside of Roshan. It's kind of a good idea as well, though. I don't know if he did this on purpose or not, but then it, it makes you think, like, oh, they're about to fight this, we gotta get back. But in the meantime, they're just safely oh, taking Rosh. Not to be good enough against DK in a fight once he uses that. Yeah, RTC just starts. The crew wave hasn't even arrived, so they're battling up against Bangor Regeneration. God, let the stuff go. RTC continues to heal up as Yoku starts his attack. Eternal Envy looking to clean up the Chen army with the extra stun. They're able to do so in Wrath of Nature. And FNG spamming everything you've got, but RTC is still above half of his life. Yeah. He's the frontline tank. He's not even the guy with the Aegis the Immortal. And that's EE who comes in, hits one 
once, twice, and almost takes out the entire creep wave. So they can just keep doing The Alchemist is in the middle of Chemical Rage, and Arteezy and Envy don't look really that right, interested to kill him off, so let's give it a crack. The right is the primary target, Pardai gets a ton on Aloha, keeps him out of place, and now Team Secret, they back out, FNG jump forward, there's the finger of death, the turn limit keeps him going, with a ton of wrong gone, they're finished with the range, right and gone, he's trapped inside the trap, he can't get back out, this is not the dream right now, Yoku trying to kill off Universe with a false touch of FNG, passing out three, this one they need with a black hole from the cancel, the Dark Cross Summoner, the MVP right now, the VP, able to get the kill, MVP back into his fist, but he's gonna drop the floor, remember the Aegis he bought the silver level for him, or is he? No, he's not! Arteezy has an ultra kill! Now Arteezy just keeps beating armor. into that tier 3 tower, what, what do you do against that? I, I don't know, we're even giving this one, he keeps going up and down. <laughs> but there's still a lot, look at all this minus armor, he still has plus 28. Well. It's huge. He's moving in and out. Oh, I'll say he's moving in and out of the acid spray, but then this wave of terror that also kicks oh, in. Oh, they're going in. Oh, God starts with a stun. He triggers his own BKB to try and make this fight. Universe off the back line. The Sprout! It puts them out! Then you black hole! God never did right like there. Don't be wants to be part of the hole as well. God's gonna drop. He is just hexed up, brought down. Oh boy, that should be mid rank. That should be game. GG well played. 30 30 on the clock when it's called. And Virtus Pro will lose game one here against Team Secret. Yeah, this is their last chance to win a fight. Envy or RTC sat on the opposite side, did whatever he wanted to. And once the black hole came out, that wastes almost all the BKB of Alk, and they can easily burst him down afterwards with the Sables and right clicks. So, really well played from Secret, man. This draft did everything they wanted to. I feel like they got every single hero. Like, if you're sitting around and theorycrafting the best pushing draft, they got all of those heroes. They got everything they wanted. Lion on Pile I Die and all the other four heroes are great at early team fight rotations and pushing. And they played it perfectly. Really well played.